Here we have a live video. It's a weekly update for the MMTs. And the thing about it is, MMTs, um, on this weekly analysis is where the 200 week had a big bounce down here once again. These were the low areas that came back into play where we had a one, two, three, four, five week rally during its last quarterly earnings that was not the quarter that starts this coming Thursday on October 13th they report and you know I stand to be corrected if the date changes but we can see where this 200 week moving average was the primary source of price action support and how the lower end of this weekly area held as support here we go with the daily Google chart and you can clearly see up here where the top of that reversal was and where these necklines were. You have to remember, though, that this part of this big breakout price action over here landed at 473.80. But from here, from here on 714, Google had reported its uh, quarterly earnings that we were long during that period we had bought the calls and we definitely have the live trades in action on the uh, stockmarketfunding.com website just type in Google after our earnings and you'll find it we had a big gap up here to 600 and we made the high up here and we started to reverse at 627.50 and we went straight right back down here look at that daily reversal and this is what happened during that time frame over the summertime and its last quarterly earnings. Well, guess what? Not only that, we came all the way back down here on that daily, and this is what it looks like. We came down here on 10.4 to 480.16. Over here on 6.28, below where the breakout was, was 4.84, and then the last quarterly earnings once again. The lows are in a particular daily range with daily sell signals and public indicators that people look at. The thing about it is we're going to go into the earnings this coming Thursday and we're going to have calls and puts. We are going to be very well diversified by picking the strike prices as we trade up. We start Monday and as we move toward that Thursday we're going to be taking a look at where these if they were to come out and report well we can look at the 590 calls above the market we can also go back over here on the weekly chart and we can go back way over here in 2010 for the downside position. I mean, this was 430 down in here. And we can look at below the market put options down here. So that way, if they come out with the quarter, they beat the number, but then let's say because Google has hired a lot and Wall Street's going to be opinionated heavily about their headcount, employee headcount, and how that's going to play into the 10Q, the 10K, you name it, everything about it. But what is that? Is there going to be a charge off for it? And Google is being viewed by Wall Street more of a hardware company now than a search. The search is the still biggest primary business. Google has gone out and invented many other things that are going to be incorporated over years to come. So in the current status, the Wall Street community, which is the public community now, has a negative again that because of it, they could sell it down like they did. Not the last quarter, but earlier in, in the... Um, April 1 or whatever it was they sold it down really hard based on that and the only way to trade Google right now going into that calendar uh, quarterly earnings coming up here on uh, October 13 2011 today's date 10 8 2011 is you have to be back up here on the call side for good news uh, where reversals happened here on the weekly because this is part of that you know the daily I showed you here and then when you really get down to the fact that the 2010 lows are way below the market is how do I buy put options below the market and have call options above the market and then we will let and see how Wall Street wants to treat it therefore 
It's a bullish weekly chart with closing above the 200 week. There are going to be pockets of short term resistances and Google has a way of trading higher going into the earnings on this coming Thursday. Monday's trade management is how do we buy at the low and Google wants to break to much higher highs. Okay. And when we look at that daily area, we can see here that this daily area down here in the last three trading days, you went from a 480.77 to an interday high of 520. And you're hitting the daily simple 10 day simple moving average. Okay, and you got all of these other daily moving averages that the public is going to be looking like. So if I can see that 560 is up here, I can also go to my trade management and look up here where up and out of the money calls is for a good event. But then once again, MMTs, like I show on the weekly here, um, that's not the particular one that I'm looking for, but that weekly chart that I have right here is how we're going to hold these levels and then trend up. The 100 week moving average is right up here at 550. The 50 week moving average is up here. I can show you exactly 565. And we broke below them and sold off and went into a weekly sell signal. And Google has been in that big reversal and with the broader markets. It's got a major short term support level. What happens after the fact, though, in the earnings that they want to sell it down and they take a charge off, I believe that they're going to have a good number and everything. I'm not worried about Google's business whatsoever. What I'm worried about is what the big money on Wall Street is going to, how they're going to treat the name and how they look at the balance sheet and how they're going to evaluate it. That's what we are going to do our trade management on going into this calendar Thursday. So we know that they like to run up, and we've ran up already in anticipation of a good report off of that 480 low. And we're going to continue to see on Monday through through Thursday, because a report after the closing bell is how we run up for four days going into those earnings. And if we're going to break higher, it's about buy the rumor and sell the news. We can do that trade as well. We will define this trade on the put and call side in separate training modules and separate uh, meetings with MMTs.